Okay, so write a program which asks the user to input a year and calculates and reports back on whether it is a leap year or not. And we will make the assumption that a leap year is divisible by 4. So here we have year equals int input enter a year. So it's inviting the user to input a year. And Python treats inputs as a string. So it has to convert it, it to an integer by the, st by the keyword int. And if year mod 4 equals 0, that means the year divided by 4, and if the remainder is 0, print year, print the year, and it is a leap year. Else, report that it is not a leap year. Enter a year, 2016, and 2016 is a leap year. Next program. A charity has collected donations from people. £64, £72, £89, £56, £47, £90 and £100. Write a program which calculates the average and the sum of the numbers in the following list. And this list has been constructed from the donations people have given. And it says hint, look up the sum and length functions of lists. So what do we do? We define a list called charity which has all these numbers in then summation a variable called summation which is sum of the list so it adds up all the numbers in the list and items define a variable called items which is the length of the items in the list so it finds the items number of items in this list which is one two three four five six seven so items is seven an average is summation divided by items. Remember average in maths? And then you print. You say the amount collected is summation, the sum of the amount, and the average donation is average. We have run it, and it says the average collected is 518. Let's assume that's pounds. And the average donation is 74. Let us assume that is pounds. Now, write a program which draws three overlapping circles, which are red, blue and green. Hint. Use turtle for this. OK, we have the program here. Import turtle. Import turtle means we import a module which will enable us to um, draw images, process graphics. T equals turtle. Instead of the word turtle, we're going to refer to turtle by T. This, this block of code here draws a circle, it colours it red, it says let us colour it red, let's begin filling it in, a circle of number of units is 50, I'll come to T right later and then stop filling it in. So after it's drawn this circle, the pen turns 120 degrees to the right and it draws another circle which it fills in green and the pen turns 120 degrees to the right and it draws a third circle and it colours that circle in blue. So here you have three circles, red, green and blue, sort of all at 120 de 20 degrees to each other and T done. Let's finish our venture. Look, we've got three circles, red, blue and green. OK, number 10. Write a program which prints out the characters of a string in reverse order. So, for example, if the user inputs ABC, the computer displays CBA. Or if the user inputs QWERTY, the computer will output the the characters in reverse order and put Y T R E W Q. Here is the program user input enter a word, find the length of it, the number of characters, and then we define a variable called new word which is empty. And what this does here, it goes round and it starts at the so what it does, it starts reading from the last character to the first character, length, comma, zero, 